for uh, DJ and, and for Rob, uh, it was back and forth there in the middle of the second half, and there was a little sequence there. DJ, you hit a three. Tyrone hit a three. And Ryan hit a three. You're up six. That was probably the defining moment in the game. Can you just talk a little bit about what was working there and, and why it happened? Uh, I think we were just you know, trying to get the ball in the middle and uh, try to draw two people because in that one through one, they're, they're pretty good at uh, getting the passing lanes. So, I mean, just driving. <clears throat> and uh, I remember I drove and kicked to Tyrone. He knocked down a three. And uh, I guess it's just taking care of drawing two and getting a wide open look. And luckily, we knocked him down. Yeah, I think so. They were in that one through one zone. And I thought we did a good job moving the ball. Um, and then those guys just stepped up the plate and made shots. So that was, uh, like you said, a big sequence for us. And this can go to anyone. Can you just talk about getting to Drew? Um, he had, what, the two technicals getting at, uh, kicked out of the game. You guys definitely rattled him today. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was something that I think uh, in the first half you got into something that really you know, it wasn't a big deal. Um, I guess the refs thought that they should give double technicals. So we had one. And then I guess he was just a little frustrated at the end. But um, I thought the guys, for the most part, did a pretty good job of guarding him. Um, and we had to because up there in Evanston, he, uh, he really got to, he, you know, took it to us. So um, it was good to see. Rob, just uh, obviously uh, the first game between these two teams, they uh, um, did pretty well on the boards. And I'd imagine that was probably discussed leading into this game. And then just uh, talk about how, how you guys were able to do what you did tonight, you out rebounded them forty to twenty eight, got a ton of offensive rebounds. Yeah, and that was definitely discussed in, in practice and in the preparation, you know, in the, in the days coming up to this game. Um, we thought that we would have an advantage up there and they uh, definitely, you know, got us up there. So uh today it was uh, it was huge for us to win the battle of the glass and um it's just all it's just so many more possessions when you can do that and we I didn't think we turned the ball over too much tonight either. So um when you can have those two things working for you you have a good chance to win. Yeah, this one's for any one of you guys. First half and beginning of the second half, you're getting by a basket. You get into the basket, you lay it up, and it's coming off. How did you persevere to that and then still have the confidence to knock down all those threes? I would not shoot that many threes, so I don't, it wasn't up to me on those threes in the second half. But I think we are getting to the lane a lot, you know, penetrating that 1-3-1 one, one and just missing, and uh, our coaches told us to keep shooting. So I think players just kept shooting, and we got in the rhythm at home. and. Ended up winning the game. Kelsey, uh, after the Ohio State game, Coach Painter said that you know you'd had a nice game, but you hadn't gotten to the glass. And tonight, you got eight rebounds to go with another double-figure effort. Was it just part of the way Northwestern was playing, or did you make a concerted effort to go to the glass harder tonight? Uh, I made a, I made an effort, but I also missed a few rebounds also that my coaches let me know. So. It was kind of both. And then with the 1-3-1, one, one, you know, a lot of the defense doesn't have, like, a particular man to, um, to uh, box out. So I got a couple offensive rebounds through that. So it was a little bit of both, really. Rob, this is for you. Since you've played with Ryan the longest of the three, he, I know this was not a career high points-wise for him, but this is a season high for him minutes. He goes 39, um, 14 points, and seven rebounds. In your time, Rob, all around, is this as solid of a game as Ryan has had that you've seen? Uh, yeah, probably. Um, I didn't realize he played 39 minutes, but uh, he did a very good job on defense. Uh, seven rebounds for him is great, especially when he's our safety. So you know he's not crashing the offensive glass. Um, and uh, you know it probably wasn't his best shooting night, but um, at the same time, he uh, yeah he was huge for us tonight. Take two more here, and then Brian. DJ, you guys obviously had a good uh, team effort in Columbus, and then to come back today and have. Five guys score in double figures. Lou had eight assists. Do you feel like you are kind of hitting, you know, your stride as a unit? Everyone kind of knowing their roles, even though it's you know five games left in the Big Ten. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, that's one thing that's been discussed in practice is just do your job, um, both offensively and defensively. And our guys have, I, I think, it's starting to come around to where they understand uh, who can drive, who can shoot, who can do certain things. And uh, when we can get the offense moving and get open looks. And I uh, continue to do that. Good things happen for us. But the, the main thing is doing your job on defense and getting stops. <clears throat> Rob, um, just uh, obviously the last couple of home games, you guys have had some chances in some of these games late at the end. Obviously, this was a game you guys probably had to have. I don't think anybody would, would argue that. I mean, just obviously the importance of you guys being able to uh, close the door in a close game here. Yeah, and like you said, I think uh, with the mission game being at home and the Indiana game being here, I'm um, just losing those close games. It's been it's been tough, especially because for the last four or five years we've defended our home court so well. So 
Um, it's definitely good to get a win back home again. Um, I think it, you know, it's important for us to set the tone for the rest of the year that uh, it's going to be hard to come into Mac Arena and win.